What's up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, I got my top 5 tips to make you a better player in Hive Mind. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay and guides. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, I want to share with you guys some tips that were maybe not in my hive mind guide and that will make a difference in your hive mind runs. It will make you a better team player and it will improve your runs. If you're new to hive mind, make sure you watch my guide. I will link it in the description. But let's start with my top five tips. My tip number one is when you get to the first fight, go up the stairs on the left and line up with the two clusters, the left one and the back one. Aim down sight, machine gun, supercharge. Any machine gun if you got the combat build one clip with supercharge you will take down the two clusters and then you still have a bit of supercharge left for the data hive why i say it's important to line up your shots is because the extra bullets that you shoot that were not needed to kill the first hive you already shot them so they will go directly to the second cluster and um yeah 10 seconds it's over so your two teammates can go on the right and take only one cluster down and start shooting at the hive at the data hive in the middle now any machine gun will work, but the Revenant is my favorite because it has more ammo. So the extra ammo you can shoot on the Data Hive and you will not have to switch weapons on your 10 seconds of supercharge. So it's more efficient, I guess. You can deal more damage uh, before your supercharge expires. Now second tip is when you're about to get to the second cluster fight, if you're the first one in the room and you know your friends are not ready yet, don't start shooting just yet. At least leave a little bit of time for your friend to come back and then you start shooting. The reason for that is the blinkers don't start spawning until you start shooting. So if you start shooting and you're alone, you're alone with the blinker. My next tip is for the next encounter after the flashback. Everyone spawn in a different location and they all have to take the cluster that is closest to them. So if you spawn outside here where you see the rails, Turn right and your cluster is the one with the hole in the door. This is your job. Now if you spawn outside with two sets of stairs, take the stairs on the right, open the door and your cluster will be right there in the little room. This is the one you have to take down. Now if you spawn inside with the bench on each side, it's the door on your left. Forget the barrel, go to the door on your left and your cluster is right there in the open right in front of you. But why is it so important that everyone knows what cluster to take down? It's because if you wander around and you don't know what to do, there's going to be a cluster that is left out there and there's a lot of stuff, lots of blinkers. It's a real mess out there. So you don't have that much time to look around and see who forgot to take down their cluster. Next tip, tip number four, is for the big fight right after. Two guys should go straight for the Hellstorm. Don't ignore this guy, it's too dangerous. So if one guy go around and one guy in the back or in the front, he's gonna look at one of you guys and the other guy's gonna get free crits in the back, take him down. Now it's really important that you go straight for the Hellstorm at the start. You cannot just run around and shoot the trash mobs. This guy is too dangerous. On our way in, you saw that we took down the Void Callers because he's also pretty dangerous. But yeah, Hellstorm is a big threat and it's easy to take down if you guys are coordinated and you go for it. Now my last tip is for the boss fight. Right at the start of the boss fight, don't go straight on the jump pad. You have to get rid of the blinkers. So if you don't go there, they will come for you, but they won't blink and teleport and stuff like that. They're very easy targets. They just come at you slow and you just shoot at them. If for some reason more blinkers spawn, don't be afraid to go back on the jump pad. Uh, it's gonna be much easier to fight them. Instead of running around and trying to fight them and they move a lot, just go back on the jump pad and shoot them across the, the gap. And again, they will just come at you without teleporting, without moving too much. And you get easy headshots even. I got the, the Hitman ribbon there. But yeah, it's much easier. And we just found out recently about that. Shout out to Descendant for sharing the tips with me. And then I share with you guys. So that is it for my top five tips for Hivemind. Hope it's gonna improve your game. Now leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below if you have other tips to share with the community. 
and I will probably make a video later if there's enough stuff. Now, once again, thank you guys for watching. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Yeah, because I play shooters on my channel, so Karnba will be different. Other stuff, but other mobile games. Playing Ark Mobile? Eh, hey, maybe. I hear about about Ark Survival. It's a crazy game, huh? It's it's huge. My buddy Fluffy, I think it's the game he plays on on PS4. He's been playing for a while. It's a game where you tame dinosaurs, right? Oh man, I'm dead. Ooh, I made it. What a bad time to reload. Big, ugly alien. Now you shoot the legs. How do you beat hype so fast? Well, what do you mean so fast? We're not beating it that fast. Like, just ask me uh, what part you're struggling with. Or uh, just watch my... Um, I have a great video guide. If you search YouTube, Search JHC Hive Mind, you'll find my guide. I have like everything you need to know. But just ask any question and we'll try to help you. Of course, you need a good team. I'm not doing this alone. My teammates are really good, also. New Spectrum bundle. I, uh, I'm gonna check the. Joe, did you post on the swag zone? Because I'm about to check the Discord right now. Embra. Again, no crit. All day, man. No crit on anything. Rocket Launcher Elite. Not gonna keep that. Alright, let's check out the Discord. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Alright, let's start at the bottom. So, who's that? This is... Let me guess. Jericho Black. Oh, man. This is like Captain America Iron Man at the same time. Oh, but you changed the hat here. Oh, it's not the same. It's, it's multiple different... Uh, this one is better. It's just weird, huh? The, the transition. It's the raptor legs, and I don't know what the... Oh, it's a basilisk. Basilisk uh, body with raptor legs. But this one's Dominator. I don't know, man. It's pretty cool, though. The colors, really nice. This is Joe. Supernatural... X-Men Cyclops. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Seems legit, man. Seems legit. Yeah, it sucks that you cannot change your uh, your facial hair and your, your hair. Because you could have just gone no beard and, you know, short, short dark hair. We have a winner, says Kulda. I mean, it's pretty cool. It would be imagine when they add what they add to the game, the massage area, and we can respec or recustomize our characters. The cool cosplay of the week will just go up a notch, right? Competition will be fierce. Massage, massage area. But yeah, Joe, uh, I say good job, good luck, man. Good luck. Who's that, Captain? Maddening, mad, maddening. Yeah, with the the new pistol. It is the new paint also, huh? Pretty cool, man. Oh, you got different colors, but yellow is better, Joe. Keep it yellow. Yellow and blue fits more with the. Oh, Vega. He, he messaged me. He said, "Can you show this on your next stream?" It's a all black SWAT dude. Oh man, I love it. It's the, it's the scarlet bundle for the legs and the SWAT vest and the basilisk shoulders. I don't know what the gloves are. 
But wow, all blacked out. Even the weapon is black. That's pretty good, man. Is he in the chat right now? Say uh, Vega777. Tell him, tell him I showed the swag on stream, okay? And I love it. 